Welcome back to Kerbal Hard and Uncut. Last episode, we landed on Minmus and we're not even there right now. We're just looking at this and I was just thinking, do I want to buy some bits? Thanks, Gene. Um, what contrast have we got? We got science data from the surface of the moon, science data from space around Kerbin, science data from space around Minmus. We're going to get that one. That's going to be 40,000. That's going to take us so that we can pretty much afford that next thing. Then we've got the transfer crew that's just going to be something transfer any crew between vessels near Kerbin I think that's going to be our uh, potentially just a uh, space station it's going to have to be um, which then comes with this thing here which is 500 units of, whoa 5,000 units of electrical charge 4,000 units of fuel far 12 Kerbals antenna docking port can generate power can be fully assembled when launched okay that is a large vehicle. Um, <clears throat> 4,000 units. We need to have a think about that because that is a lot of funds and we don't have to use the station. We could just put it up there. But it would give us a target vehicle for completing that other task as well. So if I'm putting something up, I might as well use it. 4,000 units of fuel is a lot though. That's an awful lot. And we're getting this primarily, I think, because, because we've been slowed down by everything. Um, our, our basically we've we've done some things that we we should have not we, we haven't got the tech or more accurately we should have done them before we got the tech that we are or we should have done them uh, possibly in a different way so we, we've landed on Minmus and we've only got a certain level of tech and we've landed on the moon with only a certain level of tech we're, we're, we're basically chasing our tail a little bit on everything right um, anyway Let's have a look. We're going to have to get back into orbit at some point, and we are actually pretty much on the equator, which is nice. Um, so I guess we're going to go for orbit. We've got everything off the minimum sort of surface we want. One thing I do need to remember to do is put the thruster back up to maximum because we don't need to mess around with that. And uh, then we're going to get going. So I'm going to fire the engines up. Then I'm going to pull them down a bit. I just want to hold them. And then I want to go to the 90 which is that way would have helped if I'd put the SAS on straight away I thought it was on it was not right uh, get the gear in get the get the gear in let's get this gene up to gear. thank you very much I think it was it was obviously decided it didn't like that situation all right uh, and you can see because what we, because I didn't actually too wasn't too bothered focusing about where we were and things like that what I've actually done is I've actually put us pretty much onto and reasonably equatorial orbit. It's not brilliant, but it'll do. Um, we're gonna add a maneuver node here. I may actually just uh, pull that down a little bit. Yeah, that's better. What's our inclination? If you come down the bottom here, we can see our inclination, which is seven according to that. Okay, so it, it is actually not brilliant for the inclination world. If I do a little burn like that, no, we'll start again. So we're gonna put that there. Seven, an inclination of seven is not actually a bad thing. Um, inclination of nine isn't bad either. I, I don't need to worry too much about it. So we pull ourselves up into an orbit. There we go. And if I wanna do an inclination change, how much is that going? That's gonna be 60, 30. Uh, do that. What's that look like? That is gonna be only a tiny little bit of delta V and it gets us, it gets us okay. Right. Um, let's do that. Let's make that happen. We'll go to it. We have got so much Delta V on this craft right now that I do not know what to do with it. It's just, it's obscene. It's obscene levels of Delta V, which I'm quite happy to uh, to, to waste in reality. Um, so question for everybody listening. I asked about names for crew uh, very, very early on in the series. We have now got a potential set of missions that are going to give us new crew. And they're going to be involved with rescuing things. So we're going to probably do some rescue missions. So the question now is, who wants a name or who has a name suggestion? I know I've got some from the past, but uh, we have different viewers. We have different people still hanging around. And um, I'd like to give everybody an opportunity. So we've already had a couple die. You can put your name back in the hat if you really want to. Um, alternatively, if you want, put a comment down below um, and tell me that instead of renaming, if you had a Kerbal that's died, if you had a Kerbal that's died, Tell me, instead of renaming a Kerbal and calling it, you know, so-and-so junior or having a second version of it, would you like us to name like a space station after them or something like that or a craft type or something? It would be really cool, I think, to, to maybe name things after those Kerbals that came first, those ones that, you know, 
that they gave their lives for the program and everything that it brings for Kerbin. I don't know what we're actually providing for Kerbin right now. Um, I have no idea. Right. I should really bring this thing back down, shouldn't I, to Kerbin. So we're going to go for a little bit of a burn about there. About, about there. Sounds like I'm Canadian all of a sudden. Right. What's this going to do for us? Let's have a look. Uh, that takes me that takes me into the out, out, uh, out planet. That's, that was a lot of Delta V all of a sudden. I didn't realize I'd put so much Delta V in. That's staggering. We could do a moon flyby on the way, which would be hilarious, but uh, I don't really want to do that. So we're going to pull this down to uh, not into the Kerbin, please. There we go. That's close enough. I can, I can refine that afterwards. Right, we'll go to there and we'll go to that. And then we're just going to let it speed on by so this, this should be a quick return i hope um we do need to get some science when around curb and i'm not entirely sure how i'm going to do that though um we may try and get an eva report maybe above a biome because i think we can get eva reports above biomes now so that is an option that we could go for um, and what i'm actually going to do is i'm gonna we're roughly in the right place i'm going to turn this off we're going to do it manually uh, yeah, that's right. We've got maneuver nodes. Don't need to use them now, though. Don't need to use them. That's uh, you know maneuver nodes. Who needs them? That is actually funny. The fact that we are actually now flying this without maneuver nodes. Um, after all the effort I went to, we're just going to just fly without maneuver nodes. Um, what the big thing that flight planning does give you though is things like this, where you can actually see the patch conics. That's the one thing. If if you had to choose between maneuver nodes and patch conics, I think I would probably choose patch conics. Obviously, maneuver nodes wouldn't be as effective without patch conics, but I think, uh, yeah, I think, I think I would definitely choose patch conics. I think uh, it would be maybe an idea for for them to have separated the two of those out. So you got one, say, if you've got patch conics with the the transmitter, but you only got maneuver nodes if you had the transmitter and say the astronaut complex or or the uh, mission control or something like that. Something would have been, a, I think, a nicer little touch instead of having both aspects gated. But then I, I don't know how the game is developed, is, is put together. So it, it might be that they didn't have that op option to do that. Uh, we're going to warp to there. Thank you very much. Are we out of the sphere of influence yet of everything? We've got electric charge. Wonderful. Right. This is going to be a quick return. I think we're going to go. We're going to go quick, quick. Right. I want to go to here I'm gonna warp to there. No, stop. I don't want to warp to there. I want to warp to here now. Warp me there. Thank you very much. Right, let's go. Do, 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 do. It's quite a nice view, though, actually, seeing the moon go around Kerbin like that, isn't it? You realize just how quickly it does actually orbit, though. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab a crew report just because we need one. Um, and I think we're going we're gonna, to... To be fair, I could actually put this thing into orbit, which is an idea. I don't have a docking port on it. That is a problem, yeah. I don't have a docking port. I was actually thinking, do we put it into orbit and then carry out some very clever sort of transfer to another craft or something, but I don't have a docking port, so I don't know. That's not... Now, the other thing about that mission is it's a transfer to another craft. I'm assuming a rescue mission would complete that for us, but then equally, we don't have a rescue mission around Kerbin, so I don't know if that would be the case. Uh, EVA. Can you give me an EVA report? You can. We're gonna we're gonna uh, tick it. We're gonna store it. Now, do I get rather risque with this? That is the question, because I would really love an EVA report in the upper atmosphere. I would really love an EVA report in the upper atmosphere. Um, do I risk it for a biscuit? Uh, I don't know. You know what? I'm tempted just to dump the whole bottom end of this straight. You know what I am? I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump that straight away, right? Because what I'm going to do is really not the most sensible of things. I really want to get an EVA report from up in the atmosphere. There we go, right? So we're gonna EVA now. EVA report. Keep it bored. Right, we got it. Kerbin's upper atmosphere. Superb. Can I do a crew report from there? Actually. No, we've already got one. Right. Well, there you go. There's a little bit of riskiness that uh, Berlin is going. And you can obviously tell that I'm now aware of the fact that we we should actually have... Uh, put that on retrograde. 
we should actually have now the ability to get some more astronauts. I think we've got funding for them. I think we actually have enough money. Yeah, we've got money in the bank for it. It would mean we didn't get the, the upgrade for the VAB quickly, but uh, we, could, we could get ourselves some astronauts. So the question is now, comments down below, as well as giving me your naming suggestions. Do we buy astronauts or do we only allow ourselves to have astronauts that we recover, that we, that we rescue from somewhere? Um, I have had I have had versions of KSP where I've had like three or four rescue missions just lined up in the past and I've been able to do them one after the other. In fact, if you go back to my um, Final Approach series, I think it was a Final Approach series, or maybe it was Road to Kerbin. I think it was Road to Kerbin. Road to Kerbin. I actually I had so many people to rescue in orbit that I actually ended up going to a capsule that I'd already rescued someone from because there were so many capsules in orbit. Uh-oh, that's not what I expected. Why have we not gone into re-entry mode yet? We didn't go deep enough. Uh-oh. Well, I suppose at least we don't have life support. Well, um, Berlin, how's it going? Yeah, we, we're doing a fly round. We're going to do a fly past, fly by, um, a fly round. We didn't, that doesn't look nice. We didn't like that. We wanted to land somewhere a little nicer is what we were thinking. Somewhere maybe tropical, maybe a little bit of sun, you know, something for your green skin to really get into. I, I don't know. We're talking rubbish now. Yeah, not to self. From Minmus, 40 kilometers is not going to be a capture with this craft. Okay, where are we going to come down? Where are we going to come down? That is a good question, actually. Um, where are we? Is this even Kirby? That must be the other, that's the other continent, isn't it? I never look at that side of the planet, actually. Um, wh where are we? I've got three minutes and I have no idea where we're... Oh, there we are. There's that, that big hole. And then we're going to have the desert. So we're going to hit the atmosphere around the desert. Uh, we're going to probably come in in the desert then, are we? Ooh, ooh, hold on a second. Got an idea. Can I get another one? EV report. Uh, no, you can only get one. It's not It's not biome-specific, interestingly. Um, didn't know that. Didn't know it wasn't biome-specific. Good to know, though. Um, where would we like to land? I would really like... I think we've got desert landed. Um, okay, we've got a crew report for... Um, Upper atmosphere. This, the crew report is not biome specific. I don't believe you can tell. I'm now thinking about science, can't you? I've started actually. I was I was thinking in between episodes. You know, for a moment, I was thinking about the actual science we have and how much more we need to get. And although we need a lot of money to unlock that science uh, upgrade point, so we can actually spend over a hundred science on a on a tech. Um, I realised that normally I would be at a point where I have to do that because I've got too much science built up. I do not have too much science built up on this series. Um, we're actually, we've not got a lot of science at all because I'm not being so picky. I'm not picking up all of the bits of the science that I possibly could. Um, so maybe I need to be a bit pickier. Uh, again, comment down below. Should I be doing just, you know, science, science acquiring missions or should I, you know, should I just keep trying to go through all these different things? I do also need to look at interplanetary missions at some point, you know, got to go to Duna and Eve and get some science. Science from there would be good. It will hopefully give us a big chunk, although transmission of science is, of course, going to be limited. So there we go. We unfoil that and then we'll get this down, right? So we've got about 1 minute 30 left of this episode. Um, and it's been a return. I hate, I hate the ocean like this. I think it looks horrible when it's like this in stock. Oh, right. Now we just slow that down. I always, you'll notice I always try and actually stop the time up when we come into the transition for parachute opening. That is because I played KSP like, you know, eight years ago where when the parachutes opened, if you were going anywhere near time warp, if you even thought about time warping, the entire thing would just explode around you. And uh, so, yeah, that's 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 me jumping to that. This is much nicer when you get close to it, but for, for when it's far away, when you're high up, no, it's, it's not it's not the nicest. There we go. Splash down. Hmm. That's, that, mm. Okay, that could be that could be a better graphics, but we'll let that go. Right recover the vessel let us see we've got about 50 seconds left we should complete a couple of different missions with that where is it where is my missions let's have a look come on come on come on, come on. we got some science good uh, we didn't get uh, collecting samples which is annoying um, because we couldn't uh, we've got some stuff for uh, returning to the surface from minmus returning home uh, got science around there and there so we got all these things done. We've just got the site, the moon science, we've got this landed. We've got these that need to do suborbit. We might do in the next episode and um, rescuing from orbit. Okay. Two Kerbin orbit ones 
a Minmus orbit. I think next time we may be doing a rescue mission or two, but we'll have to see. So from me, until next time, have a great one.